Welcome everyone. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be explaining the traveling salesman problem and it will be in plain English. So we don't we won't be having uh, too much math, but rather we'll explain it in plain English so we sort of understand it. Uh, this problem is quite easy to explain and understand, but it's very difficult to solve and it's extremely interesting if we manage to find an efficient and feasible solution so focus on, on, the, on these two words efficient and feasible if we manage to find a, an efficient and feasible solution then we can become superstars so let's begin let's assume that we decide to ride a motorbike around France I don't know why I chose France but let's, uh, let's assume that we are in France and we want to ride a motorbike around several cities and let's assume that we would like to visit Paris, Lille, Nancy, Lyon, and La Rochelle. Now, of course, we're going to assume that there is a direct road from each city to all other cities. So all of these five cities are interconnected. I'll show you a, a, a drawing of that. And the way we want to visit these cities is by starting at one city and then visiting each other city only once so we only we start at one of these cities and then visit all the rest of them only once so there's no coming back to the same city if we want to come back to the original city the city we started from then it's not a problem but we don't necessarily have to do that so let's say for example we start at Nancy then we go to La Rochelle from La Rochelle to Lyon from Lyon to Paris and from Paris to Lille that's one possible route right we visit each city only and only once now we have some questions here what is the best tour or maybe in uh, in other words in which order should we visit these cities in order to minimize the distance or time we travel so if you look at this uh, drawing here this graph here i told you before that each city has a direct road to all other cities so if you notice that all of them are interconnected and these numbers here let's assume that the, these are the distances or the time it takes to go from one city to another so what is the best tour here in terms of traveling the minimum distance or in terms of spending the uh, smallest time uh, in travel what we can do is we can uh, draw a table or a matrix of each city and the distance from that city to all of the other cities so for example from Paris to Paris it's zero from Lille to Paris is 56 uh, and from Paris to Lille is 56. If you notice now, this matrix is um, is symmetric around this diagonal. Diagonal is zero because traveling from the city to the same city is zero. There's no traveling. And then the values on the upper triangle here are the same as the ones in the left triangle, as you can see. So Nancy to Lille is 84. And then if you go to Lille to Nancy, it's 84. So one possible tool would be, for example, going from Paris to Lille, from Lille to Nancy, from Nancy to Lyon, and then from Lyon to La Rochelle. And we can compute the distance by looking at this table or by looking at this graph, showing us the distance from each city to the other city. And then we can find, for example, the total distance here is 56 plus uh, 91 plus 135 plus 119. The other possible route would be Nancy to Lyon, Lyon to La Rochelle, La Rochelle to Paris, and Paris to Lille. A uh, and the total distance would be this and then what we do is we compute the distance of each tour and what we want is uh, the tour that gives us the smallest distance right now this sort of problems is commonly known as uh, combinatorial optimization problems now I promised I promised that we were not we, were, we are not going to have too much math but let's just try to explain what this is in as we mentioned plain English the traveling salesman problem is an example of combinatorial optimization this topic consists or consists of finding an optimal object or an optimal solution from a finite set of objects or solutions so the finite set here of, of, of solutions for example in our example here is the list of all possible tools so what we can do we can list all possible tools and we can go through them one by one compute the distance and then choose the tour that gives us the minimum distance bear this in mind we'll come to this in the next video right 
So this is a, just a very brief introduction of combinatorial, combinatorial optimization and we mentioned it's just finding an optimal solution from a finite set of solutions and this actually has several applications so if we solve this problem efficiently and in, in a feasible time then we as we mentioned before we can become superstars uh, developing the best airline network for example and so on and so forth of these applications so I wanted to mention here that information on this slide is from Wikipedia so let's stop here and then continue in the next video